Hello, it's me, Declan, again. Uh, welcome to Let's Get Technical episode number three. Previously, we learned how to install Dream Scene if you have a uh, Windows 7. And then we learned how to get any video from YouTube and just splashing it and using it as your own video wallpaper. This time, we're going to be doing the same thing but from a different aspect. Uh, I gotta warn you, if you don't have Adobe After Effects, this tutorial will be hard to follow. Uh, but still, you can still take a look and maybe you'll get some ideas for uh, another program that you have that you can do something similar, like uh, Adobe Premiere or something else, or Sony Vegas, or any editing, uh, video editing program really. Um, so, I want to talk about the power of images because a video is great, don't get me wrong, you know, but sometimes having a um, full on video desktop is just a little too distracting. Sometimes, like a simple but good photograph is going to blow away any type of uh, video wallpaper that you might have spent hours working on. So this is a technique that I like to start just start from an image, right? So let's say you have a pretty good image and you would like to add something to this image and um, be careful now because the the, gr the um, Atsune Miko, the girl, is going to change position just but just so you look. Look at her headphone here look what I did to it alright and you see here I added a small effect just small effect it's still the same wallpaper but now it's like she is listening to music so no big deal it's still an image it's still an image to if you're just passing your eyes by like it's just an image but if you look closer there are details with sound you could make her air or uh, her hair flow uh, like in the wind, you know, like just go with the wind a little. You could make her blink ding, like every once in a while. I'm, I'm saying it's still an image, but it's got some movement. It comes alive. Now I've seen this referred as um, what was it called? A cinegraph like instead of a photograph it's a cinegraph uh, I could be wrong but I think that's what it's called anyway let's let's learn how to do this alright the small effect let's take a look first let's just get another wallpaper there so it's not distracting us alright so first let's open After Effects Alright, after you have After Effects rolling, you are going to want to make a new composition. I'm going to call it Hatsune Miko Headphones. And then you'll want to select Custom and select your excuse me, uh, your resolution, your desktop resolution and you'll want square pixels and a frame rate of 30 uh, that's what I chose, you can have it lower but higher I, isn't, I don't recommend it resolution full is fine uh, you can make it lower, I don't think it will impact your final product, uh, your result but anyway I'll, I'll work with full and the start time code 0 and the duration 15 whoa, not 15 minutes Ah yes, it's 15 seconds. All right, just like that, 15 seconds. These are the frames, not the seconds. And you click OK. File, save. You gotta right away let it know where do you want to save it. I want to save it right there. All right. First thing is get our wallpaper 
into the um, project. There it is. So you gotta open the little project tab here, and uh, if, if the wallpaper wasn't there, you just drag it in. And there's our wa wallpaper, and then you can drag it down here, and it will put it in the into the timeline and into the stage. And now we can uh, very carefully drag this. Now, we gotta be careful because these wallpapers were not made for this resolution. So, I can either pull it down and then we'll start seeing some letter boxing. But, you know, maybe that's going to be okay because. Let me just out a little. Like, it could be like this and it's fine. And I could bring it down here and we could still see her face and cut off her the legs a little, but it, sh it will be okay. But um, we can actually make it as tight as possible. Then, of course, we're going to get some heavy letterboxing on the left. But with a simple solid layer. using the same color and just placing it right there we finally have the the right proportion and the space is filled with the, the colors that we want all right um, right now I could export this but it would just be a a video of of this like nothing nothing is happening um i have uh previously recorded some sound waves uh i i got them from a program called winamp it's a very old program but i don't know if you heard of it um you can go to winamp.com and get it and then with some uh screen recording software like the one i'm using now i managed to capture some very psychedelic um, visual visualizations from the program and I used this in a previous video but um, I'm not going to use these like this one I'm going to use this one I could also use this one for a different effect but we're going to use this one because it's a headphone and it's circular and it's going to work really well so let's just move that in right and make sure it's on a top layer so we can see it and there we go we got our animation right there but it's on top of it and it's just blocking our character so that's no good now you gotta make sure to come here to toggle switches modes click it and then in the mode oh just a moment Anyway, you come up here and you select screen. And what screen does is just it um, makes the black transparent. So now we have our image and it is working perfectly and can show you by clicking this. You can see that it's great. And um, now let's just make it a little bit smaller right there and now the the headphone is a little tilted so we are going to use uh, an effect called distort mesh warp and uh, this is a little bit too much like uh, we don't need this much detail so we're going for one one Whoop, I like that and um, and now we have absolute control over how the um, the sound wave looks and um, just like that don't have to be super careful but of course 
final quality will improve if you are. Mm. Almost. All right, and uh, let's preview. I like the way it's looking though. It's a little too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. And uh, the lines are a little too sharp, so I'm going to go here to transform, and I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 60%. Alright, I'm much happier with this. Alright, so I'm um, happy with that. We got our whole scene ready to export, and I'm going to click Composition, Add to Render Queue, and then click here at the Output Module. I'm going to select Windows Media as we talked before this is the the only format or one of the only formats that uh, dream scene is compatible with and for the bitrate I'm going to choose 5000 which is a pretty good quality and the image quality I'm going to choose 100 click OK OK and now the where to export to I want to export here this is an old file that we can just overwrite no problem. Already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. And click render. Now this is a pretty fast computer so it won't take long. Just about 15 seconds more. Alright, and we can get ready and already head to the folder where the image will show up. All right. And we are ready. If I click set as desktop background. Boom. There we go. We've got a nice image wallpaper modified into a video so we can have some tiny special effects that are not bothering us too much but we know they are there and it looks great and it's done all right I uh, hope you learned something hope you have your own ideas uh, please reply on the comments or make a video reply with your works I would love to see it and um, any questions, anything you need, just send me a private message and I will reply as soon as I can. Alright, good luck.